bring in. She is a multi Grammy award winner. She has changed gospel music also with her style and her TV presence. She is an awesome mom, wife, and pastor. She's the one and only Erica Campbell. How you doing, Erica? I'm well. How are you? I'm all right. I'm, I've been well. You, I also want to start off by saying your song, Feel All Right, has pulled me out of many, many ditches in, uh, on, on, in the morning because it picks me up. It's my, it's my opening song. I use your song as my opener. Oh and, wow! Yeah, and I just have to ask you, where did that song come from? From speaking that over my life, from wow. deciding that we are out of this pandemic. I'm blessed. My family made it through. You know, we went through some things. Thought we were going to lose my mother-in-law, and God is a healer, and I feel all right, and I'm blessed. You know, that's why it starts. I woke up this morning with dancing in my feet. You know, I get up saying, God, I thank you for breath in my body. I thank you for strength. And so I'm blessed. And I just wanted to share it because I know I'm not the only one. I know it's a lot of other people that are blessed as well. Amen. Amen. You know, um, listen, you about to uh, drop this new this new album and uh, you have so much su success in the past. And now this new one is coming. I, I just wonder, like. When you write and when you perform, is that is is there a lot of fire left, or is it out of obedience? Like, Lord, you told me to do this, I'm doing this, or is just the the fire is still there? Oh no, the fire is still there. I'm excited. <laughs> I get excited Amen. when I create a new song. Um, my notes and my phone is so full of songs that didn't even make this record. Um, me and my husband still get it, it, ideas that we can't wait to share with the world. So, um, no, 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 this is not an obligation. This is not a, a duty. This is a joy. Um, it is why I called the album, I love you because God's love has literally changed the way I think, the way I operate, the way I feel, the way I treat people. Um, because it has changed me, I wanted to change other people as well. So I'm, I'm super excited. I, my, my opening concert is in new york at sony hall and i'm just like oh, that's that's wow. a it's a big deal I, i'm not jaded by anything i still get excited when i find out i'm nominated for stuff i still get excited when they add my music to people's shows i'm still um still thrilled the, the little girl who always wanted to sing to sing still lives inside me and uh she's really happy right now <laughs> i know i know you are listen um you know your debut solo album had a um you know, you came out with you, you hit with a Grammy, uh, and this one, I, I'm I'm pretty sure it, it, it drops on the fifteenth that it, it's going to be the same thing all over again. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know where you and Warren come up with this with these these tunes and beats, but how do you guys do it? I mean, uh, and do, and when does it shut off? Does it shut off at a certain time in the house, or, do, or does it just keep going? Never. <laughs> it never shuts off. Listen, I will, one of the songs um, called I Love You on the record, I think it's song number four. Amen. Um, I was literally asleep and I could hear him doing the backgrounds. Now I'm supposed to be going to sleep because I got to get up early for the radio show. And I go, hey, babe, who's that song for? He was like, I don't know. I said, I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> so when you hear it, it really was the one of the late in the midnight hour songs. Um, but that's how it goes. We'll go on vacation and, and God will give us the song, the one that got away. We were taking a drive um, down the Pacific Coast Highway and thought about that song. You know, the scripture that says he'll leave the 99 to save the one. Uh, yes. And this song is called One That Got Away. It's I did it with PJ Morton and it's really, really a powerful. It's, it's actually one of the shorter songs on the record. Um, I've got a lot of interludes and. You'll hear some traditional things on there, but you'll also hear some new, fresh things. I'm just, I'm excited about this record. Hey, man, you know, we're excited. So tell me, who else is on there? I mean, it's close now. You can tell us now, can't you, who, who's on the um... Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> Richard Smallwood is on the record. Richard Smallwood and Vision. Wow. Get out. Yeah. Man, a classic yeah. bird. PJ yeah. Morgan, like I said. D Smoke um, is on the record. Stevie Wonder does a feature on the record. Um, and then I have all my sisters on the record. There's a song called Edges, and you'll see featuring AMS. AMS stands for All My Sisters. But my daughter Krista's on the record. My baby girl Zaya's on the record. My son uh, did the remix for Positive. So it's a it's truly a family love record. My mom uh, does a little uh, thing on one of the songs called Show Been Good that I think we released. Um, on iTunes, so you can hear that one in advance if you'd like. I just, but the you have to listen to this record together. This wow. is not a song a, where you can listen song by song. You have to. It's only forty four minutes. It's a short record, so you listen from beginning to end. And I believe that it'll bless and change your life. I really do. 
Amen. Um, I know. I believe that it will. I think um, I want people, you know, please purchase it. <laughs> you know, I'm telling my people. All right. So uh, this is what I want to know. You know, uh, your book, More Than Pretty, it's almost prophetic at this point, you know. Um, be yeah, because when people call folks out of their name and they start using, you know, they're pretty much just stripping them of their humanity, you know, because I don't see you no longer as a woman. I see you as a whatever I'm calling you sometime. I'm talking about derogatory stuff. And your your mm -hmm. your book more than pretty, you you deal with the fact that, you know, it, there's more to the to me than what you see. You know what I mean? You you may like me aesthetically, but what about me, the inner me? So he's yeah. how how has your book helped people? Oh wow. It it has helped them to stand in their power. Yeah. It is a lot of people how to take their power back and I don't have to believe what you say. Amen. When people use derogatory, derog that's what you think. That's not what I am. Yes. God, when I stand in heaven, God is not going to ask the people what they think. He's going to mm. talk to me about me. So if I stand in what he says, who cares what people say? I always use this example with my kids and they crack up laughing. I say, if people call your mommy a purple buffalo, should I go on a promo tour to prove that I'm not a purple buffalo or should I just keep being Erica Campbell? Yeah. Keep me in your mom. Yeah. I go, mom, no one can say that. I said, they may not say purple buffalo, but they may call you ugly. They may call you stupid. They may say uh, that you're not smart. They may say all these things about you, but you don't have to believe them because you know it ain't true. So I, I've learned to just stand in my power. And, and, you know, in my opinion, they just don't know me yet. Yeah. Amen. You're misidentifying. You aren't, you aren't insulting me. You're misidentifying me because of reflection of yourself. That's what you think. That's yeah. how you feel. That's how you identify. But come on, come on over to this love realm where I operate and where I live. I love you enough to forgive you even for your derogatory statements and still share God's love with you. That's right. They love me. They just don't love me yet. So I don't, I, that's what I show people. Walk in that confidence. Who cares what people say? You don't have to respond to that. That ain't who you are. That's what they think. Exactly. That's why I call the book perfect because of all this, thing, uh, it's a lot of that going on right now. It's, it's amplified at this point. And for your book to be there. Amplified if you care. Yeah, if you care, exactly. And it's all, you, you care, know. It's like, yeah, then it'll take you down. Yeah, yeah. And um, I, I tell my, I ask my kids, what do you say to yourself about yourself? What do you wake up in the morning and say to yourself about yourself? Or are you waiting for mm. people to identify you? If I already know that I'm fearfully, wonderfully made. If I'm, if I already know that I'm the righteousness of God, if I already know that I'm forgiven and I'm blessed, then why do I listen to somebody saying something else? I've been identified by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. God has told me who I am. I don't have to ask you who you think I am. I know who I am. Yes. Yeah. And that's beautiful. No, I, I, I love that because especially kids, they really need to hear that. Looking at you and Warren, you know, you guys are, you know, your pastors, like, how do you guys like, just keep it, you know, balanced, you know, have a congregation, you have to, you know, you have to answer, you know, for people lives, you know, you have to enter, you like intercessors when your pastors are almost and, and coaches. So how do you guys balance all this? Um, I, I like to tell people I wear a lot of hats, but I don't wear them all on the same day or else I look like a crazy person. Amen. So I remember that uh, with the church, I'm responsible to God for the people. I'm not responsible for the people. Yes. When they stand before God, they won't be able to say, well, I didn't do this because of Erica. And God will say, did you serve her or me? Yeah. Were you serving the pastor or were you serving me? You know, yes. so when you direct them to God, I can direct you to God and then take my hands off. I know some people, um, you know, they got a kind of a checkup ministry. I said this to you. Did you receive it? Did you? That's not my job. My <laughs> job is just to tell you what God said. You can take it or not. You know, that's on you and you, you and God. I could tell you to be obedient. I could tell you what the word says. You could do it or not. When you stand before God, he ain't going to call my name. You That's call a it, personal relationship. You, you, you know I'm jotting that one down, a checkup ministry. I like that one. <laughs> like, <laughs> said, well, did you, you know, are you still happy from what I said? Did you receive the pro Like, you know, people feel good about what they do. And I get it. It's no judgment zone. You know, they go around telling you, you know, what they did. Well, you know, I got this many people saved and I laid hands on this many people. I don't know if they got it. I just know I prayed. I don't know if they received it. I, I just know what God told me to do. And that's all I'm responsible for. Was yeah. I obedient to the Father? Yeah. You know what I mean? My no, validation I, I, does not come from people. It comes yeah. from God. And when you know that, 
then it takes some of the weight off of my shoulders to be what I need to be to people. He'll give me everything I need to be everything I need to be. Yeah. He's preparing me for what he has prepared for me. So I'm always equipped for the task at hand because God prepares me and I do my part. You know what I mean? I study, I pray, I research, I exercise, I do my, you know, get ready for interviews. I do my part and then God does the rest. That's all I'm responsible for. Yeah. You know what I always wanted to ask you? How does it feel to be a top gospel, you know, artist and a radio host? You know, I, I mean, like, like how, how is that for you? I'm it's so cool. It's so cool <laughs> because, you know, I used to be interviewed by people, right? And go yeah. to all these radio stations, hopes that they would play my music, you know, that their listening audience would find out who I am. And now I get to do that for people. I know what it feels on both sides. So it yeah. makes me much more sensitive um, when I interview. It makes me much more intentional when my, with my questions. Like when I go places and they're still asking me, why do you guys call yourselves Mary Mary? That means you didn't do any research. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Or, you know, small things like making sure you look people up, even if they give you the bio, take your time to know who people are. You know, they, they're they bringing you my show. I have a good show because I have content. You know what I mean? I get to talk to people. When I talk to people, I want them to feel welcome being there. I've done many interviews where I didn't feel welcome. I've done many interviews where I felt like they don't know me, don't care, and didn't really want to talk to me. It was just on they scheduled a day and they did it because they had to. I never want to make people feel like that. Wow, so yeah. uh, being a, an artist and a radio host allows me a different sensitivity um, when I do what I do, whether I am artist Erica or get up mornings with Erica Campbell, radio host, radio host Erica. Yeah, it, it's so funny you used to say that. My daughter always asked me, said, said, Dad, why you always talk to everybody you see? I said, if, to me, I always feel like it's my job to make, especially because you can just see people going through sometimes. I feel like it's my job to try to make people feel somewhat special if if they cross my path. Some, somewhat. You know what I mean? Whatever we can do. I don't care if you put some money to their grocery bill, you're in line with them or to, you know, just saying, hey, you got on, you know, nice, you know, like, hey, bro, you got on a nice suit there, whatever it is, you know, but trying to make people feel, you know, somewhat special. Yeah, you know? I do that. Yeah. I do that too. Yeah, I, I, I listen. I know you do. Listen, let me tell you something. I was laughing at you because you were taking your kids to school, right? <laughs> you were dropping them off to school. Uh oh. No, I'm just laughing because it was just like, I love that because I, me and my wife, well, me and Sister A, you know, we do the show together. I've been married. It's our 30th year of marriage. But. Oh, nice. Amen. Thank you. Um, we I miss that. Erica, I'm, I'm telling you, I miss dropping my kids off at school. I miss, I mean, just so much, you, you know, smelling their hair because they little, you know what I mean? Even when. You, you, baby you, smell, the baby you, smell. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And you don't got, and I don't have any grandkids, you know, yet my, you know, my kids are not married. So I'm just like, oh my God, you know, you, you, you're going through, man. And to see you guys, you know, you out yeah. there, you're making time, you got a radio show, your, your wife, your, you know, and you, and you out there and you drop your kids off at school, man, you know, you know, so, so, so how is that, you know, like being a mom? I know I've seen your daughter, she's still shy, but <laughs> she's still shy. I love being a mom. I, it is one of the joys of my life playing with my kids teaching them praying for them messing with them um i just man they are my i can get emotional talking about my kids they are my reason and i yeah. hope that uh, before i take love out to the world it starts with them before yeah. i take encouragement and empowerment to the world it starts with them i want them to be empowered and know who they are i want them to know that they are loved in this house and that love is so big and powerful it don't matter what people say you know, plus knowing what God has said about you, you know, yeah. of course the enemy fights just like he does anybody else. So what I can't do, God does the rest. I'm on my knees. I got my prayer team, my village. I tell my sisters, aunties, cousins, listen, I may miss a step and miss a detail. What I miss, feel free to talk, to call, to check, to pray, to question, to go through the phone and find out who they're talking to. I'm an old school mama. Yeah, this yeah. is my house, my rules, my way, but there's also a lot of love here. There's great conversation here. You know, I allow them to speak. I allow them to be honest and share their hearts. And so I just want them to grow, grow up to be great people, you know, powerful and walk in their God given purpose and authority. Amen. Amen. No, no, that's no, that's real rap. People don't understand that. Yeah. You, you, you do. You have to do that with your kids constantly because they always facing, you know, 
it's some, sometimes they, their biggest battle is, is themselves. You know what I mean? They absolutely. always, absolutely. They always, you know, down, can I do this? Can I do that? And, you know, um, we have one going to college now and I'm like, man, you know, crying on the inside all the time. <laughs> He's the last of I three. Can't. I'm like, no, not my baby. <laughs> not my baby. <laughs> Who's going to go downstairs get and get me a soda when I need it? Huh? No, I'm playing. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yeah, you make them do everything, right? right? You'd be like, yo, go ahead. <laughs> Come on. Why oh, man. Not? Who needs DoorDash when you got kids, right? No, <laughs> you but got kids. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, I just want to say no. I just thank you for you know being who you are and um always being um a warm and receptive person. And uh, you know, can you tell everyone where you they can uh buy, you purchase your music, especially that new album that drops on the 15th? Yes, I love you. Drops on September 15th. If you are in the New York area, get your tickets and meet me at Sony Hall. You'll experience the record live. I'm literally singing every single song on the record. Oh. Pray my strength. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. You can follow me at I'm Erica Campbell on social media um, across all platforms. It's I love Erica Campbell on TikTok if you do that. Um, and I can't wait to see you. Yes, that's me that really responds. Uh, on social media and I'm just I'm just grateful for the opportunity. I I'm I'm glad that you asked me, did I do this out of obligation or love? It is literally I love God. I love people. I love what God has done in my life. And I feel like love has been hijacked and it is subject to people's pain. And they don't they they treat God's love as 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 if it's something foreign and far, but it's very present. He's your very present help. He is your loving God that gave his son because he wants you to experience this love relationship, this love exchange um, that is just it's beautiful and powerful and life-changing. And So I wrapped it all up in this album, the I Love You album, and I can't wait for people to hear it. Thank you so much. I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to make it up to New York because me and my wife got to get away for a weekend because, you know, all the kids still live at home. So <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Hey, yeah, we down in Philly. We love you though, Erica. I, I, I truly mean this. Thank you for being who you are. You guys have always blessed us for years over the TV and everything. And I just want to say, you know, thanks and always coming on with us. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. More than welcome. All right. Amen. Till All right, next bye -bye. time. Okay. All right. Goodbye. You got it. Bye-bye. Hey, good people, it's Erica Campbell, and you are locked in to the Praise Alleluia radio show with Brother D and Sister A. Keep it right here. Philadelphia every Saturday and on gtownradio.com around the world.